What up guys, so you guys saw how I set up my home gym for my new house in Vegas, and that is my absolute dream home gym setup. You don't have to go that fancy or that extravagant to get something that's really effective and cost efficient for your strength home gym setup. So I wanna go over some of the things that I think that are just the bare minimum to have a very good strength and powerlifting based setup in your own home, and this is actually the same gym that I set up in my backyard in my LA house the minute the pandemic hit. So if you go on Amazon, I bought most of these things on Amazon, you can get a squat rack with a built-in pull-up bar for 180 bucks. And then you can get an Amazon Basics flat bench for 50 bucks. You can get Olympic weightlifting and powerlifting bar for about 200 bucks. And the bumper plates I cross-referenced between Amazon and Rogue on Amazon, the average price that I found was about $3 a pound, and on Rogue, it was roughly $2 a pound, so I went with Rogue, and I got everything together for 800 bucks. With this setup, you can do most major exercises. You can do your pull, your push, your lower, and your core, and you can pretty much cover all of the compound exercises that are really important to strength training, such as your squat, bench, deadlift, overhead press, power cleans, bent over rows, curls, skull crushers, leg lifts, inverted rows, pretty much all the most important exercises that you would do in a regular gym anyways. To save another 50 bucks, if you're really tight on money, you can get squat stands. I found squat stands on Amazon for almost 100 flat. The problem is you do lose out on the pull-up bar, and the pull-up bar to me is really important and it's worth the extra 50 bucks. So I know a lot of people are worried about buying a squat rack online. Um, the squat rack that I'm recommending is the one that I've personally used for over a year now and I've loaded up to 400 pounds on there and it's lasted this whole time. I do pull-ups, I do overhead press, I bench, both me and Gio use it. So it does work and it does last. Just make sure that when you're racking the weight that you take care of it and follow what the load capacity rating is. So one thing I'm really impressed about is the Amazon bench. It's an Amazon basics bench. So it is pretty much just the basics, but it's 50 bucks. And through this $50 bench, I was able to rep 275, 315. I had friends come over that weighed 250 and we're all benching together. So the human weight plus the actual loaded weight, that's like 500 pounds on it. And surprisingly, it lasted. So a lot of this equipment actually is pretty strong. And it's just a disclaimer, you have to follow the load capacity. I mean, it's just like when you're buying a skateboard, right? I'm sure they don't say, jump off a building but there are people that jump off the building with the skateboard so you got to make your best call i'm just trying to recommend the most cost effective way to building a strength gym at your home so with the bumper plate bundle that i found on roke it only has 205 pounds so for those of you guys who are training to try to squat 500 or bench 400 it's going to be pretty difficult with not that much weight but you can still get fit and get jacked with 205 pounds. With this setup, you're still able to work on your technique, be competent in your movement, you can do speed work, um, you can get high volume training in reps of 20. Imagine doing three sets of 20 with 205 and you can still get shredded with circuit style training. And also one thing to keep in mind is once you start going heavier in weight, you do need a spotter. So you might not actually wanna spend that much more money on weights. You might wanna do what's gonna be the easiest to accomplish your goals. But if you have the extra cash, go ahead and buy more weight. For the purpose of this setup, I want to spend the least amount and get the most cost-effective workout possible. So for example, something that I would program for myself is to do a circuit with power cleans for five reps with 135, box jumps onto the bench, and pull-ups in the squat rack for a EMOM, which is every minute on the minute for 20 minutes. I guarantee you, after 20 minutes, you will be drenched and dying. And that's not even tapping into the 205, that's just using 135. So that's a sample workout that you can do with this home gym setup. The other thing is you might be asking, what about dumbbells or kettlebells? Those things to me are freaking awesome, but they're a luxury. So if you're trying to stick to the bare basics of what do I need for a strength gym setup at home, I would stick to this because you can use the plates and double them 
as dumbbells. Uh, you stick your fingers through the holes in the middle and a lot of the weightlifters in China do this and they're the ones going to the Olympics. So with the 10s, you can do side raises with them. With the 25s, you can do curls or you can do triceps with them. And with the 45, you can do shoulder exercises and you can do more tricep workouts with them. So the goal is to not only be as cost efficient as possible, but also take up as little space as possible with your home gym setup. And also before you buy any of these things, when you're trying to set up your own home gym to be the most cost effective possible, Hit up all your friends and family and see if they have any leftover weights or rusted weights in their backyard or hiding under some dust in their garage that they don't need because the more free stuff that you can get, the less money that you'll be able to spend. And sometimes you'll find some gold. Like sometimes you might find a really cool safety uh, squat bar that your old uncle that powerlifted had, you know? So make sure you do that. And hopefully uh, this is a really good tip for you guys who are looking to set up a strength gym in your home. So I know $800 can be expensive, but when you're talking about fitness equipment, $800 is actually on the cheap end. So for example, to set up Barbell Brigade with everything that we have in there, that cost pretty much around half a million dollars. Cause when you're just buying straight up metal, it just costs a lot, you know, at the cheapest is about a dollar a pound. And then some competition plates are $10 a pound. So it can get very, very expensive. So if you're thinking about how much money you're spending and what you can get and what you can get out of your training with it, $800 is definitely a worthy investment. Um, some other things to keep in mind, if you're a community-based lifter, I know a lot of people like lifting in groups, they like the, the energy of a gym. I don't think you can ever substitute the vibes inside of a dope strength gym, but if you're looking for a quick and efficient, cost-effective way to get the most out of your training in a short amount of time with as little money as possible, I think this is it. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this with your friends. See you guys next time. Peace.